Hello all, my name is Michelle Schimberg and I am a member of the Pormon Lab. Today I'm going to be talking about my project, which is the development of a non-enzymatic electrochemical glucose sensor using copper oxide. So a little bit of background first. Glucose is typically the primary source of energy for all organisms undergoing some sort of metabolism. And the range in humans is typically between 70 to 110 milligrams per deciliter or converted that's about four to six millimolar. Diabetes is a disease characterized by chronic hyperglycemia or elevated levels of glucose affecting well over 420 million people worldwide. Currently there is no available cure but maintenance of the disease involves monitoring of blood glucose levels and may even involve insulin injections. Electrochemical biosensing is a very popular method used in the biosensor industry. It offers a high sensitivity, wide range of detection, low cost and simple instrumentation. Traditional glucose sensors have actually used glucose oxidase to catalyze the redox reaction that occurs, which is then electrochemically measured. However, glucose oxidase, like other enzymes, are known for having lower stability, more stringent operating conditions, higher cost, and potential interference from other species. As an alternative, many different metals have been explored. Copper in particular has been explored due to its increased abundance and highly catalytic properties. In this paper, we were able to create a copper electrode, which is used as the sensing platform. So copper was electrodeposited onto a platinum electrode using copper sulfate and then oxidized in sodium hydroxide. The actual detection of glucose was done using linear sweep voltammograms. They were applied to the system, which was in a sodium hydroxide electrolyte solution. Glucose was then added incrementally. And lastly, we did a specificity test to test against structurally similar sugars and potentially interfering species. In the results on the left, we can see that glucose was detected from 625 nanomolar up to 30 millimolar and was oxidized at around 0.6 to 0.7 volts. On the right, you can see that there was no significant detection with structurally similar sugars or with any potentially potentially interfering species. Thank you.